Hello, everyone. I want to thank you so much for opening this email and listening to this brief announcement. Your flexibility and generosity through this pandemic has been really, really good, and I want to thank you for that. I know that it's not always easy, and yet we're all responding and needing to be reminded of the gospel in which we celebrate. Jesus Christ came in humility, sacrificed for the greater good of others so that we may have new life. And this gospel that was preached in such a finite area of the world 2,000 years ago is now being proclaimed on every continent. And people are coming to faith. And we celebrate this advancement of the gospel. This truly is good news. As a people, we all also celebrate the freedoms that we have in our country to open up the Bible, to look in the pages of the scripture, and to learn and apply it to our lives. And this Sunday, as we open up Ecclesiastes 7, it is an amazing passage that is clearly relevant for us today. And so as you anticipate and look forward to Sunday, I want to let you know you can register to come to worship in the sanctuary out on the patio. Please pick which one of those you want to do. Um, Per our government's orders, uh, we need to have everybody who comes wear a mask unless there is a medical exemption uh, as described within the governor's uh, mask order of a week and a half ago. And I think that's in section three. So please read up on that. Please do your part. I'll be the front of the line in saying that masks aren't comfortable, and yet it's an opportunity that we have, uh, in many ways, a small price to pay for us to gather together and to worship the Lord and to spur one another on. So if you're planning on coming to church, please register for in the sanctuary or out on the patio. Now, it's going to be a hot Sunday, and so if you're planning on coming, please dress comfortably, um, wear shorts, be comfortable, however that is. That will be uh, great to do. I don't know. I might even wear shorts this Sunday, too. It'll be a brief service, roughly 45, 50 minutes long. We will sing together. We'll celebrate together. We'll open the word together. But you might be in a place where you're like, that's just too hot for me. You might be in a place where I'm not ready to come out and be with everyone. Well, I have good news for you. Uh, This week, because of your generosity and continuing to uh, advance the gospel by giving to the local church and and helping others along the way, uh, we were able to install high-speed internet in the church this week. Yesterday, I was in the attic of the sanctuary running wires and grateful for the help of Jonathan and others who, who have helped make all this a reality. But this Sunday, Lord willing, we will have a high definition uh, camera working with high definition audio and lyrics on the screen and all of that. And so uh, what looks to be really easy behind the scenes often isn't that easy, but I want to thank you for your patience. So please register to come to the service, sit inside the sanctuary out on the patio, or register saying, hey, I'm going to follow along on Facebook Live. It will be at five o'clock this Sunday. If you do decide to come to worship with us, uh, bring your Bible. Uh, We'll have activities for uh, your kids uh, to participate in. We'll have fans blowing. We'll have water available. And we'll do our best uh, to make this as uh, pleasing primarily to the Lord and pleasing to us as we worship. But we also want you to know that there's no shame in staying home. And we'll have the streaming available to 5 o'clock this Sunday. Again, if you choose to come to worship with us, we want to celebrate that. Uh, Wear a mask from your car inside. Find a place uh, to sit. Be comfortable. And if you have any questions along the way, please reach out uh, to us and let us know what they are. We're looking forward to worshiping with you, whether that's at home, whether that's here at the church. Uh, Lord bless you throughout this weekend. Take care.